What is up, YouTube? It is the anonymous sneakerhead, the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video. Follow my Instagram at anonymous sneakerhead. We are almost at 300 subscribers. We are just around the 290 mark um, right now. I appreciate all that love, man. Let's try to get to 290 uh, by the end of next week. So I guess a week from today, next Friday. Anyways, um, y'all read the title. You saw the thumbnail. You know what it is. Today's video is episode six. Of sneaker talk sneaker talk's been doing pretty well haven't done an episode in a while but today's episode i am talking about the pine greens that are releasing tomorrow on february 29th and why i will not be getting them not be going after them um now before you guys say anything it's not because they're first come first serve and i think they'll lose the hype or whatever um as you guys know they've been around for a while i'm not a huge I'm not the biggest Jordan 1 fan. I only have two in my collection, and I only actually bought one. The second pair was a gift, which is still dope. Um, the Maison Chateau Rouge Fearless Mids, but I actually only have one pair of highs, and that is the Bloodline. So if I was getting the Pine Greens, I was going to get them to resell. And because of the first come, first serve, and they did have the shot drop, and they're coming out of my sneakers, every shoe store, there's going to be a lot of pairs. Yes, it's a Jordan 1, and it will resell, but right now I'm only looking for quick flips. So the next shoe that I'm thinking about picking up is the UNC3 that's coming out. Um, I think it's going to it's gonna flip for a little more than the Pine Green is right away. Uh, you're you're going to get the UNC for probably $200. I'm not sure. $190, $200. And it'll probably go for, for anywhere from $250 to $280 depending on size. So that's what I'm thinking about getting as far as flipping where I am right now. Um, I got a lot of money that I want to spend on things not like shoes. Specifically tattoos. I want to finish up this sleeve that I got working right here um, and obviously tattoos cost a lot of money so I'm looking to flip get quick flips I'm not gonna buy a shoe that I'm not gonna wear and not get a lot of money off of it there's no reason for me to have it all of the shoes that you see in the drop fronts are shoes that I wear um, and these drop fronts are all shoes that I wear you guys can't even see can you see these drop fronts? now you can't see these drop fronts on the camera um, but all of these are shoes that I wear. The the shoes that are still in that I keep in boxes are shoes that I don't wear, which isn't a lot. I have a couple of shoes um, on that side of the room. Maybe one day I'll give you all a tour, um, just where all my sneakers are, because you guys only see these every day. I'm also thinking about reorganizing. Anyway, um, that's my thoughts on the Pine Greens. I do think they're a really dope shoe. If I was in financially a better spot, I would get them. Maybe for myself, because I do need a green shoe. Um, there's a couple like when I buy shoes, I think of colors. Like I'm not buying any more black. Cause you could even just see behind me, um, the Laser Fours black, Black Hat Fours, Animal Instincts, uh, Bloodlines black, or Cement Threes black, Bloodlines black, um, Chrome, Chrome Eights, Bread Eleven. So many black shoes, um, and that's just in Jordans. I have a ton of black sneakers, and I want to get away from black. Obviously, I have a lot of color too, but there's some colors that I'm missing out. Like I said, I'm missing out on green. I'm missing out on purple. I'm missing out on blue. I could have a little more pink. Um, I could have one more red shoe. So those are the things that I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? Diversify my color palette. Um, but quick video today, man. That's why I am not getting the pine greens. It's not that they're not a dope shoe. I think they do look amazing. Like I said, I'm not the biggest Jordan 1 fan. So it's not something I would wear a lot. It would only be something that I would buy and make a video for y'all and flip. If somebody does get a pair that I know and I can get my hands on them to do a video, I will for you guys. But as far as me going out to, the, especially not going out to the stores tomorrow, I do have a Nike gift card. So maybe depending on how I'm feeling tomorrow morning, I might try to grab them for the low. Um, since I do have that gift card and a student discount. But you guys don't have to worry about me grabbing those that's why next video i have coming up for you guys is probably all the releases coming out in march i know a lot of people are looking forward to the jordan 4 and the volt colorway it's gonna look kind of like uh, you know the og air max 95 colorway we just got a 90 in these did a review on these a while ago but we're gonna get a jordan 4 that is basically this color i've actually seen them in person or something very similar already um, if you guys follow my Instagram, I may post a picture of that. I know a store that at least last time I was there had a pair of them. So, and they look pretty nice in person. So, I don't know if that's a shoe that I would get for me. It's a non-OG colorway, so I've got to see what the resale price is going to be like. But I do know that on the back, it does have Nike Air. I don't know why I showed you this. It's Air Max 90. Um, but it is going to be this colorway. Um, 
But that is it for this video, man. This episode of Sneaker Talk. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video. As you know, the goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year and to hit 500 by May 15th. If we hit 500 before May 15th, there will be a giveaway. If we don't hit 500 before May 15th, whenever we hit 500, there might not be a giveaway. Um, or at least there might still be, but it won't be at least what I have planned. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Tell your friends. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow the Instagram at Anonymous Sneakerhead. And I will see you guys at the next one.